Yo, it's Shark with DG. Today we're going to be talking about roaming and how you can become better at the role. But uh, before we start the video, I'd appreciate it if you guys would follow my Twitter and Twitch. I got a link in the description. Uh, I stream Wednesday through Sunday from like 5 p.m. to 12 a.m. So if you guys like my content here on YouTube, be sure to check that out. But uh, we'll go on to the video now. So the first thing I want to talk about is uh, the type of operator you should bring in. Uh, so it's very important that you, you bring a certain type of operator uh, over others because if you die with someone, say, Maestro or Echo, where you've got a lot of uh, like late round utility, you've got the Echo drones to deny plant, you've got the Maestro cams to deny plant, only you can really use those. Um, so if you die with those roaming uh, early, it's going to put your team at a severe disadvantage. Whereas if you roam with someone like Jaeger, you know, you put all your utility down, you put your barbed wire down, you put your ADSs, you got your reinforcements up, and now you're basically just a gun. Um, all you have to do is shoot. So if you die with Jaeger, you know, not a big deal. But if you die with, you know, someone with a lot of utility like Echo or Maestro, as I said, uh, that's not as good. So making sure you roam with the right type of operator is very important. You know, so for uh, number two, I want to go over some of the best operators for roaming, in my opinion. Um, so some of my personal favorites would definitely have to be, like, Vigil, Alibi, uh, Mozzie, Legion, Jaeger. You know, having operators with shotguns and impacts is huge. Like, Alibi, she has the impacts and the, and the secondary shotgun. That's so useful as a roamer. The, it opens up, like, so many possibilities. But honestly, you can play with pretty much any three speed with impacts. Um, you know, you don't even have to have impacts, but they are like super helpful for making rotates or getting out of like sticky situations really quickly, you know. Um, so number three is all about what to do with that utility you have uh, with those operators like Alibi. So one of my favorite things to do with Alibi is to roam on Oregon. Uh, so I can impact both sides of Attic. I can shotgun all the hatches and everything. Um, you know, for a kid's bedroom, I like to open up the hatches uh, in the in meeting down to basement. Uh, I like to shotgun a rotate in a pantry. Um, that way I have a whole bunch of different, like, escape routes, I, I suppose. And I can pretty much move around the whole map. So I can flank from big tower to master side if they're doing a direct master take. I can flank there super easy. Uh, if they're doing a big window take, I can go from, you know, tower into meeting um, and I can go through that pantry rotate. I can go to small tower, hit that small tower window, try and get some frags from there. Um, so that's like all those all those different like escape routes you have is so useful because of the shotgun and the impacts on alibi. Um, so yeah, that's that's uh, that's really good. Uh, so number four, I want to talk about being unpredictable and mobile. So having all those rotates uh, around the map, you know, it makes it so much more difficult for the attackers to track like exactly where you are, meaning you can waste like a ton of time because they have to, be, you, you know, you're constantly changing position. They have to redrone you, and they're gonna they're gonna be super confused on where you are at any given time, and they're gonna be wasting a lot of their utility on you. So making sure that you're you're moving your position when you get droned. Um, you know, constantly being mobile, sitting in unpredictable spots, uh, super useful as a defender, uh, roaming. Uh, so number five, it's going to be my last tip. It's going to be a little lengthy, but it's, this one's probably the most important out of all these. Um, so, you know, a lot of people think that roaming is all about getting kills, but actually, like, uh, being a good roamer is all about delaying the push from the attackers and just wasting their time. Uh, so the attackers really only have three minutes. They have to get into the building uh, clear the roamers and like make their execute onto the site and they've only got three minutes to do that so your job as a roamer should be to waste as much of those three minutes as you possibly can so if you can if you can delay their push to you know 45 seconds to a minute left even like a, a minute and 15 a minute and 20 you just put so much more pressure on them and they have to make their push push onto the site much faster which could leave them like unprepared for your anchors on site you know uh, so roaming is a great way to just delay all that time um, and just put so much more pressure on the attackers. But also, you can waste a ton of utility as well. So, you know, the, they're going to have to, like I said, if you're being unpredictable, if you're being mobile, they're going to have to waste those drones on you. Um, so you're going to be hurting their drone count significantly, meaning come the end of the round, they're not going to have those drones to drone out your anchors. They're going to have to push in blind. Uh, 
you know, they might they might be wasting their nades, their flashes, stuns, breach charges, you know, anything like that. All that kind of stuff. If if you can get them to waste that on you, you're going to be giving your team a huge advantage for when the attack uh, the attackers actually like go to push into the site because their all their utility is going to be like lessened. They're not going to have as much to to use on the site. You know what I mean? So your job as a roamer shouldn't be necessarily to, um, you know, get a bunch of kills or anything like that, but to mainly be wasting time, uh, for the attack. You want to be wasting their time. You want to be wasting their utility. Uh, stuff like that. Um, so that's all for today's video. I'm going to play some clips of roaming uh, so you guys can kind of see what I mean. Uh, kind of watch what I do when I roam. But uh, thanks for watching and uh, enjoy the Is rest of the video. this guy still in the spawn? No, this guy's here though. He's late prone waiting for me. I actually finesse his entire existence, I think. If you remain in this zone, you will be detected by hostiles. Your location is compromised. Yep. I read that guy like a book. One more guy down here. Need to protect us. Oh, shock! One more guy down here, and you're running away. What? I'm no. I was nowhere near you. I was big tower. You were. You I was were. big. You I was were big tower. Uh, I was big uh, tower. That one's so terrible. Why do you have them on? I, uh, cause I'm bad. I need the assistance. friendly remaining. Where? Funny, you aren't created. You literally smell like Swiss cheese. Don't fucking talk to me. Um. He's up! Up. Oh, yo, you won't do it to him. You won't jump out and sacrifice the round and throw the round. You think I would? You 100% would. If they wouldn't do it. Right. To the left. Inside of you. No, I, I, got, I got the play. Day. Orange. Ooh, okay. I was, I was there, I was inside of him. Oh my god. Chase, can you shut up for a second here? Look at the catch them out. Who, wait, who sings that? Who sings that? Okay, this guy just prones in, I guess? No, uh, no, a shotgun. Oh, this is a shotgun. So, I like when my teammates like, do that. Like, that's a good teammate. You listen They're to me. They're pushing a uh, a skylight shot. Out. Uh, never mind. He's going right. white. He's going white window? Oh, no. He's gonna. I'm running out. Never mind. He's skylight, by the way. There's a black on our window, Mozzie. How do you know? You're fine. Uh, on Skylight. Sean. It's Ash. She's just vibing. She dropped. She dropped. Black River fell up, dude. Black River fell up, dude. Black River fell up, dude. Damn it. He's above. He, he's still there. He's flashing. He's flashing. I'm still flashing. How does that pull up? 
That's pretty That's sad. Like, was, uh, Nineteen and eight. That's how you play Ella. Oh yeah. Well, there's an invisible.